Hey my friends and welcome to another episode of BrainSafe TV. <laughs> Are you struggling months or years after your concussion? Or perhaps you have some mystery brain symptom that no matter what you do or who you go to, you still come up empty handed and you haven't found any answers? You're probably feeling frustrated or discouraged because if you're like the majority of patients that I've seen over the years, you've been to doctor after doctor, you've had tests done, and you're str still struggling with symptoms. And many times the tests come up normal and so you're just written off by the conventional medical system. Or worse yet, maybe your doctor has told you that it's all in your head and just threw some drugs at you for your anxiety or your depression or other symptoms. If that resonates with you, then the information that you'll be learning in this video can very well change your life and the trajectory of your healing and recovery. In this episode of Brain Save TV, I'll be sharing with you the number one brain test you need that your doctor doesn't know about. Brain symptoms, they suck. Not only because of the suffering that you experience due to brain fog or brain fatigue or your brain just not working the way it used to be or vertigo or headaches, chronic migraines, light and sound sensitivity, whatever it is, whatever the symptoms are, I've seen them all. My point is outside, obviously they suck because you don't wanna be experiencing those things and you wanna get back to your life. But another reason why they suck is because Many times they're so subjective. How many times have you been to a doctor and you've tried to get answers to your brain health challenges, your brain symptoms, and they run their tests, they talk to you maybe for five minutes and they just say, oh, there's nothing wrong, come back when something is. Or they just throw a bunch of medications at you to mask your symptoms, right? It's really frustrating and discouraging. One of the reasons why this is so common in conventional medicine is because conventional medicine relies on testing for the brain that just isn't sensitive enough. What do I mean by that? One of the most common tests that neurologists do to explore what's happening within the brain and nervous system is an MRI or a CT scan. Those are ways of picturing and imaging what's actually happening within the structures of your brain. Now, when it comes to really serious pathologies like brain bleeds or tumors or strokes, those technologies and those tests could be very valuable in finding those more overt pathologies and problems happening in the brain. But I would have to say the majority of patients that I've worked with over my 15 years in practice who struggle with more mystery brain symptoms like anxiety or chronic insomnia or symptoms after a concussion, the majority of them, those tests don't reveal anything. Again, the reason why is because those tests just aren't sensitive enough. They're amazing at looking at the structure of what's happening within your brain, but they don't do any justice as to how well your brain is functioning, how well the different areas and brain cells are communicating with one another. So for those reasons, I find so many of my patients and myself, uh, that was part of my experience, fall through the cracks of the conventional medical system because those tests just aren't sensitive enough. The great news is that there are brand new technologies available today that can give us a very clear and accurate picture as to how well your brain is functioning even if all the other tests that you've done in the past have come up normal. Now, there are literally thousands of different new technologies and tests available today to explore what's happening within your brain and the functioning of your nervous system, as well as the external forces impacting your brain health. But the number one most important brain test that you need that your doctor doesn't know about is the blood-brain barrier permeability test, aka the leaky brain lab test. If you've been struggling with chronic brain health challenges, concussion symptoms, 
brain fog, brain fatigue, or maybe you're having memory issues or memory loss, or maybe even more serious neurodegenerative conditions like early Alzheimer's, dementia, or multiple sclerosis. If you can relate to any of those conditions or symptoms, then the most important test you need for your brain is the leaky brain lab test. The leaky brain lab test is a simple blood test that gives us a clear objective picture as to how strong your blood brain barrier is and if there's been any damage. I already spoke about leaky brain in a previous YouTube video, so click on the link below if you need a refresher. As a quick review, your brain, your most precious organ, is protected from the external world by your skull, number one, as well as protective meningeal coverings we call the dura mater, number two. And finally, number three, what is known as the blood-brain barrier. The blood-brain barrier is a single cell layer, very thin, as thin as a tissue paper, that protects the covering, the outer covering of your brain. And this is so important because it prevents toxins, bacterial pathogens, viruses from entering your nervous system and causing brain inflammation. Why is that important? Because if you have brain inflammation, especially chronic brain inflammation, then you will not heal your brain no matter what brain health challenges you're suffering from. So the blood brain barrier test, aka the leaky brain test, it gives us a window into how strong your blood brain barrier is. And if you experience the concussion, research shows that that blood brain barrier can become torn. And when it becomes torn, all those things I described earlier that your brain is protected from, toxins, bacteria, viruses, and more, can enter your nervous system and create massive neuroinflammation and prevent your brain from healing. But not only does that happen after a concussion, but research shows that it's one of the first thing that happens in Alzheimer's, so early dementia. So if you're having memory loss or you're having brain fog or cognitive decline, then you very well might have a breach of your blood-brain barrier as well. Or perhaps you're having more chronic brain symptoms, mystery brain symptoms that you've been struggling with like chronic insomnia or maybe you've had anxiety your entire life and symptoms of brain inflammation then your blood-brain barrier might very well be breached. And so that's why it's so important for you to uncover that. And we can do that through the leaky brain test. It's a simple blood test that you can do that will reveal, give us a window into the potential root causes and reveals information that can literally change your life because with this simple test, you can actually identify, number one, the root cause, one of the most important root causes for your brain health challenges. Do you have a leaky brain? Number two, once you identify that, you can figure out how severe is that tear? Because the more severe that tear is, then the more energy and effort will be needed to heal your brain. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with patients and clients who've tried a few things, changed their diet, maybe took some supplements, and perhaps they even work with an integrative or natural medicine practitioner. For a short period of time, they felt better, but then they hit a plateau, or even worse, they started to get worse and worse over time, even though they already put so much effort and energy into that. Again, if that sounds like you, it could be because your blood-brain barrier was breached and it was healing a bit, but not fully. And so the importance of this test is number one, again, you can figure out the root cause for your brain health challenges, your chronic brain health challenges. Number two, you can identify the severity. And then finally, number three, most importantly of what I've seen when it comes to chronic brain symptoms, you can then track your progress over time based on the different things that you do, the treatments or the at-home wellness rituals that you begin incorporating into your life. You can actually see if those things are working and you're actually healing your brain. So for all those reasons, 
The leaky brain test, the blood brain barrier permeability test is the number one brain test you need that your doctor doesn't know about. But the problem is your doctor doesn't know about it. In fact, the majority of doctors don't know about this because this is cutting edge technology. But the thing is, it's actually available today. As I mentioned in a previous video, there is a massive lag, especially when it comes to brain health, between research, scientific discovery, and what's actually available to you at your local doctor's office. But fear not, I'm bringing this cutting edge information to you today in the hopes that it can change your life. To find out if the leaky brain lab test is the missing piece of the puzzle in your journey to heal your brain, click on the link below and take the leaky brain quiz. In that short quiz, you'll find out if you're at risk for leaky brain and if the leaky brain lab test can finally be the answer to why your brain isn't healing after all this time. And even if you take the test and you find out that you do have a leaky brain, the great news is that there are simple things that you can do to take control of your brain health and heal your brain so you can reclaim your life. The first step is to uncover the root cause as to why your brain isn't healing in the first place, and the leaky brain lab test can be the answer that you've been looking for. So there you have it, the number one most important brain test that you need that your doctor doesn't know about. If you found value from this video, share it with one friend who would benefit from this. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be alerted to the secrets that I'm constantly revealing as to how to heal your brain and reclaim your life. My name is Dr. Titus Chu, and this has been another episode of Brain Save TV. Bye for now.